Chris Swine, and I am the Technical Service Manager for MGK. Nigard IGR is an insect growth regulator. It basically it mimics the insect's uh, JH hormones and it fools the insect into believing it needs to stay in the immature stage. So if you can keep a large uh, population of insects into the uh, immature stage, eventually that population is going to go down and it's going to eventually crash. The key advantage of Nygaard versus Gentrol and Precor is that it's a reduced risk and it's extremely versatile. What makes Nygaard so versatile is that you can use it on a large array of other parts. You can use it on ticks, roaches, ants, fleas, cockroaches. You can literally use it on almost any other part. The second thing that makes it extremely versatile is you can use it indoors and outdoors and on a limited number of different use sites. Yes, there, there is new data uh, concerning Nygaard and its use for mosquitoes. Uh, that data uh, has to do with horizontal transfer. There was recently a study done by G.J. Devine and Associates. The study showed that if a mosquito lands on a surface that's been treated with Nygaard, it can actually pick up pyroproxifen, that's the active ingredient in Nygaard. It can then take that pyroproxifen to a different site. Now, if a mosquito picks it up in a harbor, harbor site, now this is the site where mosquitoes get together, shaded areas, trees, etc. They can actually transport to a breeding site. Breeding site is actually where they're laying these the eggs into standing water. So by treating the harbor site, a mosquito can then pick up enough pyroproxifen and then contaminate a harbor site that may not be in the direct vicinity. To inhibit emergence of a breeding site, you need as little as 0 .012 parts per billion a pyroproxifen, which is an extremely small amount. What happens is that the, the female mosquitoes will have a blood meal and she'll come and she'll land on a surface that's been treated with Nygaard. So if it's a leaf or whether it's a, you know, a tree that's been treated with Nygaard, it actually picks it up on the legs of a mosquito. So the Nygaard is now transferred by the legs of a mosquito to a different site. So if it's a breeding site, the mosquito will land in that breeding site, for example, standing water, and there's enough pyroproxifen to inhibit emergence in the water that she lands on. The most interesting conclusion was that just by treating a small number of harbor sites, you actually contaminate every single breeding site in that area and actually inhibit the larvae from becoming adults. That's the most important thing from that study.